events, Mr. Brayden. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the time you've given us in this class, and we pray that the diligence that we've given to it and the attention that we have uh, paid in taking our notes will, in fact, pay off in our lives, pay off in more godly living, more faithful reasoning, more effective witnessing for you. We pray that you would help us all to realize the outlook of the Apostle Paul, to have that same confidence and the ability to drive it home, that you have made foolish the wisdom of this world. Our Heavenly Father, we would thank you as we leave this class, because we know from the things we have studied that we did not come to this position because we were smarter than other men. We did not come to this position because we were more righteous than other men. We did not come to this position because we were more inclined to be believers than other men. We've come to this position not simply because the credentials of it are so strong, but because you've opened our blinded eyes and taken away the darkness of our hearts and enlightened us to see the truth as it is in Jesus. Help us to hold to the simplicity of that faith. Help us to be effective in promoting it in the world. The men might come to know that they only have two options, the option of life and death, light and darkness. Help us to promote all that you have taught on your final authority. Don't let us make the mistake of thinking that anything stands above you and can judge you. Help us to not make the mistake of putting the Lord our God to the test. Lord, help us to assume the truth of what you have taught us and then apply it to this world. We do pray that you would make good use of our efforts to bring them into yourself, that the light of the gospel might, uh, might uh, take away more of the darkness of this world. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be good ambassadors for you and not misrepresent what you have said and not put you in the dock while man in his autonomy is yet at the bench. Help us truly to be disciples who bow to you Help us to know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. We pray that you would accomplish all these things for your glory. In your own name we pray.